Is the water supposed to be this cold? Yeah, my hand slipped again. Hey, what's that noise? What are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Another fine mess I've gotten myself into. What happened, Claude? You're soaked. The student whose turn it was to do the dishes today was ill, so I volunteered to take his place. The dining hall lady was on my case the whole time for breaking plates and getting water everywhere. Actually, not everywhere, mostly on myself. It was just one big mess. It wore me right out, too. I could really use a nap about now. <laughs> you might be a noble with a fancy bloodline, but you sure don't act the part. Being noble or common doesn't have anything to do with washing dishes. Oh? I dare say most nobles would refuse to do it. But hey, I prefer it your way. You don't act like you're better than everyone. <laughs> I'm honored that you acknowledge my greatness. And I'm rather fond of your blunt way of praising a person's strengths, too. Really? To be honest, I don't actually trust my own ability to read people. I like to look for the good in them, but that doesn't always mean it's really there. I mean, you seem like a good person, but your heart could be black for all I know. You say you can't figure people out, but what you said just now was pretty shrewd. It's wise not to trust appearances alone. I'll keep that in mind. Though, I'm not sure I should be taking advice from someone covered in dish suds. <laughs> oh. yeah, I see your point. Ah, so I see. If one were to combine this incantation method with the power of a crest, then in theory, it should... Hey there. Still studying, are we? Isn't it past your bedtime? Claude... I really don't appreciate you interrupting me right now. Uh, but if you don't get your sleep, you're never gonna grow big and strong. Uh-huh. The last thing I need is you fretting over me as though I'm some child. I'm only a few years younger than you, you know. Hardly worth noting. Furthermore, my grades in magic and basically every other subject are far higher than yours. Whoa there. I'm not trying to treat you like a child, I promise. This is me treating you like... like a princess. Now, come along, princess. Brush your teeth and get yourself ready for bed. I could read you a story, if that helps. Ugh, oh, the audacity. Whatever it is you think you're treating me like, it's unendingly annoying. If a child and a princess are out, what's left? Should I treat you as a noble hero? Draw your sword, Lysithia. If you wish to continue studying, you must first defeat me in battle. Come now, face me like the hero of legend that you are. I find myself speechless in the wake of your staggering ignorance. Now, please, leave me be. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. But in all seriousness, you shouldn't neglect your sleep. You'll fall ill if you push yourself too hard. Oh, and just so you know, I heard a rumor that this library is haunted. <gasps> it's probably not true, right? Right. Anyhow, I'm off to bed. Good night. You know, I am suddenly rather sleepy. Excuse me while I see myself out. <laughs> no matter how she tries to hide it, she's still a young girl at heart. There we go. Time for a break. Hey, Raphael, that's quite a load you've got there. It was my turn to do the shopping again, but I might have overdone it. Aren't those trips usually for food supplies? Why did you pick up a bunch of spears and gauntlets as well? I was passing by the smithy, and the old man called me over. He said he was finished repairing the training weapons, so I grabbed them since I was already there. I see. And those books? I had just left the smithy when I ran into a merchant I recognized. He said he had some books that he brought for the library. So I took them off his hands. Right, and that desk? Oh, this? Can you believe someone threw this away? It only needs a little work and it'll be good as new. Someone around here was just saying that they needed a desk. Uh, of course. Now, this is just a friendly observation, but I see surprisingly little of the food supplies that we actually need. <laughs> Well, I, uh, worked up an appetite from carrying all this stuff, so, uh, I had a snack on my way back. Raphael, I appreciate the thought, but you can't get so carried away with helping out like that. You helped us all right out of dinner. 
And now that I've seen your struggle, I have no choice but to join in this vicious cycle of charity. Here, I'll lend you a hand. All of this stuff is pretty heavy. Are you sure you can handle it? You insult me. And no, I can't. I'll only carry the books and offer my support as you handle the rest. <sighs> ah! Claude, why didn't you say anything? You were praying so fervently, I didn't want to interrupt. I appreciate the sentiment, but... I wasn't praying. No? What then? I was just thinking about the goddess. Were you now? Fascinating. Please, go on. Not here. Let's go somewhere else. So, you were pondering the existence of the goddess then? Yes. All right, consider this. The archives here have all kinds of texts about the goddess, right? But when people tell stories of the goddess, it's only myths and legends that glorify her. They probably hope to rake in more followers by glorifying the goddess as much as possible. That would be why the church tends to quietly shove all of their more questionable records under some secret rug somewhere. Claude, don't put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. I was just wondering what the goddess looks like. That's the kind of thing I like to think about. What the goddess looks like? Well, I suppose if she really exists, she probably looks a lot like us. In fact, she probably wouldn't be so different from that old woman working here in the dining hall. What, Claude? Please stop. The goddess I imagine is absolutely beautiful. How rude of you, Ignatz. I'm sure that old woman was lovely back in her day. Um... Hmm. Um... Claude? Hmm? Oh, Marianne, have the gods taken pity on my lost soul and revealed a sign to me? I've been researching the ten elites of Fodlan, but I can't tell fact from fiction. Anyhow, what can I help you with? Well, um, I found this pendant, and I think it's yours. Ah, right you are. Yeah, honestly, I'd resign myself to never seeing it again. It's a keepsake from my uncle, who has passed on. If I truly lost it, my grandfather would have had my head. Thanks for returning it to me, Marianne. You saved my tale. Please, it was nothing. I should be... No, I think that's enough researching for today. Why don't you join me for a nice chat? I just came to deliver the pendant. Sounds awfully lonely to only talk to those whom you have business with. Do you really dislike talking to people that much? It's just... I never know what to say. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. We'll figure it out as we go. Tell me, are you like this with your father too? Within the Alliance, Margrave Edmund is prone to debate. With a father like that, I would have thought... Margrave Edmund is my adoptive father. Oh, is he? I didn't know. Where were you born? That is none of your concern. I, um, I really must be going. She's hiding something, that much is clear. Ah, but that just makes me all the more desperate to know her secrets. <sighs> 